Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 10th of 2022. Well, it is titled shadows at the moon's south pole. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the south polar region of the moon. Now, why is the south polar region of interest? Well, it is right on the axis. And what that means is that you'll have some areas that see a lot of light and some areas that never see light. Now on the moon a day is very long compared to what we're used to. The moon spins about once every 27 days, meaning that there are nearly two weeks of light and two weeks of darkness. And that makes it difficult if we want to plan say someday to set up a base on the moon. Because if you do that in the more equatorial regions, then it would be very difficult because you would have two weeks where you could easily collect solar power for energy. And then for the next two weeks, you would have to depend on stored energy or other energy sources as you would have two weeks where there would be no sunlight. And that differs from Earth, where, of course, we only have to store energy for a shorter period of time or even Mars, which has a rotation similar to Earth's. Now, when we look at this, the dark areas are areas that never see sunlight. This is actually images taken over the course of six lunar days, which would be about six Earth months. So put them all together and the areas that are dark for all six months are areas that have never seen sunlight. The areas that are extremely bright are always seeing sunlight. So this gives us some regions that would be helpful if we decided to put a base on the moon. What could we look at? Well, in those dark regions, which are constantly shielded from sunlight, it is the possibility that water ice could have built up. So while there can't be any water on the surface of the moon, ices could be present in areas that are never exposed to sunlight. In ex being exposed to sunlight would immediately vaporize the water and it would easily escape from the moon's surface. However, if it is shielded in one of these craters, it could be there and there could be a decent amount of water there, which would be useful for explorers on the moon. On the lighter areas, those are areas that always have sunlight. So these would be places to put your solar collectors to gather solar energy. You would not have to worry about the fact that the moon has such a long day. These regions being at the pole are constantly exposed to sunlight and would be a better source of energy, a better place to be able to put some kind of solar collectors to bring uh, energy to a possible lunar base. So here we are able to look at over the course of six months with a bunch of images put together to see those regions that always see sunlight and those that never see sunlight near the south pole of our moon. So that was our picture of the day for April 10th of 2022. It was titled Shadows at the Moon's South Pole. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be ISS sunspot. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.